the ages, I received many names from the people who came to me in adoration. Oh, Hamakis, you are my life's safeguard. Horus, protect me. Oh, great God, that I might see you every day. Lord of the heaven, sovereign of eternity. But the name which has remained with me is that given to me by a Greek traveler, the father of history, Herodotus. He called me Sphinx, as if I were from his land. And that name is now mine. Close to the Nile, I watch over the plateau of Gizeh, over all its monuments of modest or fantastic type. They are tombs. Civilizations are like islands on the ocean of barbarism. Over this one, the Sphinx has gazed and watched for 5,000 years. At the foot of such mountains of stone, everything becomes minute and insignificant. Man is an insect. Yet, it was men who built these massive monuments. And the names of pharaohs, whose tombs they are, have crossed the ages. Their glory has defeated time. <laughs> 